Hello everyone, so I'm gonna show you how to increase the number of players you can have on your DTK server for Bar Drama. So first of all you need, you'll need the project files, which you can go do uh, download from the GitHub. And once you have them, you uh, extract them and you will have uh, this files, not exactly like mine, but you'll need to compile uh, the, some of the files so it works. But I'm not gonna show you that how to do that. You have to check from Google, or maybe if it's if people need this, if a lot of people are asking, I will make a video for that. So once you have the files, you just uh, open, click here, Windows Server for the dedicated uh, over here, Paratrauma servers, and you basically have something like this: uh, Visual Studio 2019. And basically, if you click here, Windows Server, and if it shows you an error, it means you haven't compiled correctly. It shouldn't show you any errors. Okay, so you run the Visual Studio for the uh, for the server, not for the client. Okay, so if you, if you click here in Solution, and we go to Shared Sources, go to the oops, where it goes Shared Sources Networking. And netconfig.cs. So uh, over here you have the public uh, variable max players. It should say 16 for you, but you can change it to whatever number you want. So this is basically the total um, number of available players you can host. Uh, you can put wherever you want, and just save. And you also need to change inside um, server config. Uh, where's that? There we go. Server settings XML. Once you open this, you can also change how many players you have, you want to have on your server. Uh, where do we have that? Players, max player. There we go. So I put one one twenty eight here and there. That's it. And if you both save all these files, and you can just run for inside the console. You can run the debug and it will, if it's all working, it shouldn't give you any pop-ups or any errors. There we go. And this is the dedicated server. Let's just slow a second. Mm -hmm. There we go. So the server is running. You can now join it. Now I'm not, I'm not going to show you how to do the port forwarding. That's something I'll uh, separate. Again, if people need to uh, need this, I'll show you how to do that. Um, now you can also run this from from the from the Visual Studio. You can also change to release and start it. You can also build. So you can build files, so you don't have to run it from inside here. You can either build the release version or the debug. But once you do, let me just close this. Uh, once you do that, you will have a file here, bin, the debug windows or release versions. And basically I have like different versions of what I modified. And you can basically run them. You can come inside here, find the dedicated uh, exe. You can run this. And of course you can uh, go here to server settings, open it with any text editing uh, program. And you can basically change whatever you want here. Like um, the amount of people, uh, the amount of uh, the port, if it's public, like the name, blah, 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 everything you can change here, the password. And I'm going to show you right now how this works. The 128. So if we just run this dedicated server, give it a second to load. Let me run also the game. Yep, allow the public so the server can use your connection. Where's the bar trauma? Uh, there we go. So the server is up and running. Here's the server. We started. And this is with 128 people. Now, because I have um, put the same port, I haven't touched the port, I have just port forwarded them. 
So you'll be able to see, I'll be able to see my server. Here it is, 128 people, and anyone can see it and join it. I cannot join it directly, but I can join. Um, so if you click here, direct join, and you just type your, your local IP address, you'll be able to join, but anyone can join. It's just you cannot join because you're hosting. it. And that's it. Ah, let me join and show you how it works. So this is my local IP. There we go. And we can press start. And it's all working. Alright, thank you for watching guys.